So what's up? What's going on? Pisces. Okay, this is a message for Pisces dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signs. All right. I'm going to go through each sign. We'll start with Capricorn and see what the energy is between Pisces and Capricorn. Okay. If you guys could leave timestamps below, I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So let's see. What's the energy between Pisces and Capricorn? Or the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Energy between Pisces and Capricorn at this time. Five of Wands. Energies between Pisces and Capricorn. Okay. All right. All right, Pisces um, or Capricorn, if you're a cross roger. Um, it's looking like you could be at conflict. You could be at odds with this person here with the Five of Wands in the reverse. I'm sorry, the Five of Wands in the middle of the reading. Okay. We do have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So this could be um, a turn of events that you were not expecting that led you to odds at, with this person. Okay. Um, somebody could be wanting to come with the Prince of Cups here and apologize. Okay. For this situation. I feel like you are at odds with this person. You could have been fighting with someone and it could be over your personal beliefs your desires your passions here with the fire all right i feel like you didn't know someone's true intentions and maybe when you found them out um there was some sort of conflict there was some sort of um confrontation okay there's definitely strife here in this connection we have the word strife here and with the Wheel of fortune in the reverse somebody feels like this is just a bad luck situation like they did not think it was going to turn out this way. They didn't intend for things to go this way. And with the Prince of Cups, I feel like somebody could be wanting to come and make up for this situation here. Just trying to clear the air, trying to apologize. Um, they do feel that, you know, they've left a, a bad taste in your mouth um, with whatever happened between the two of you. So they know when they come towards you, they can't come empty handed. Somebody is definitely... Um, thinking about coming forth with some sort of offer, some sort of gift, something to kind of make up for all of this bad shit that happened. All right. Oops. Bottom of the deck. I see princess of swords in the reverse. Somebody could definitely be mentally conflicted with this whole situation. You could be spying on this person, Pisces, or this person could be heavily spying on you, trying to gauge you out, trying to figure out how you feel currently about this situation. Are you still angry? Are you still mad? Um, they are waiting for, you know, divine intervention here, but it doesn't seem to be coming in quick enough. All right. I'm going to pull, um, some Oracle cards from the untold truth of the Oracle deck. So let's see here. It's a message for Pisces dealing with, um, Capricorns at this time. What's the energy between Pisces dealing with Capricorn? All right. We have a few cards. So we have clinging, 333. Three, three. All right. So we have clinging in the reverse. We have conscious, oh, consequences in the reverse. And we have running in the reverse. Okay. Yeah. So somebody, let's see, let's turn these around so we can read them really quick. So yeah, somebody wasn't aware of the consequences of their actions here. The karmic destiny cause and effect. Somebody is trying to come up out of this, um, this consequence here. They're clinging on or they were, they were clinging on to this connection. All right. And somebody who ran with this running energy, they're trying to make a reappearance here. Okay. So somebody who you fell out with Pisces, um, this Capricorn, they could be trying to reappear in your life here. It's like, they're tired of running. They didn't understand the consequences of this situation. And now they feel like they have to come back in order to make things right. Okay. They're definitely obsessing over this situation, but instead of, um, obsessing from afar, they want to come back in to try to rebuild and just figure out what they can do to kind of make things better because they don't like how this situation ended. Okay. So I hope these messages helped you guys. Please let me know if they did in the comments below. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. What's up? What's going on? Pisces? Let's see what the energy is between you and this Taurus. Pisces dealing with Tauruses. Let's see what the energy is. What are the messages for Pisces dealing with Taurus at this time? Messages for Pisces dealing with Taurus. Ooh, we have Ten of Pentacles. Okay. 
That's just for Pisces and Taurus. Oh, we have Temperance. Get one more. All right. And we have the Lovers. Interesting. All right, Pisces dealing with Tauruses. Um, a lot of abundance in this connection. I feel like there's a lot of long-term capability here. This could be a person who you are in a long-term, long-standing uh, relationship with, with the Ten of Pentacles. All right, this lover's energy here, though. Wow. Yeah, this could be someone who you feel very spiritually, um, soulfully connected to. All right, with the lovers here, you could have a family with this person, children. Okay. Um, I feel like this person definitely has options here, and this could leave you a bit worried, Pisces. With the Ten of Pentacles here, this person is very grounded, very stable. You feel very happy and complete with this person. Um, either you've been with this person for a long time, or you feel like you have the potential to be with this person for a long time, okay? The Temperance here in the reverse, it's like something about this connection is leaving you feeling unbalanced or you're feeling like you're having to wait on this person okay the temper's in the reverse i'm i'm just feeling like there's something off okay there's something off and you just can't quite you can't quite put your finger on it about this person in this connection but you feel like there's something that is just not complete here um i feel like there could definitely be commitment issues maybe maybe the thought of commitment leaves this person you know it's like one second they want to commit to you the next second it's kind of like they're in and out they're kind of acting like this is a casual situation okay you know you feel the love with this person this person knows they feel the love with you but there's something here that's just throwing everything off it could be that this person has another family another situation elsewhere okay i don't want to say that unless it's true though so let me see what's going on here what's this temperance in the reverse i'm just getting like this is one partnership and this is another one and i feel like someone feels like they're stuck in between two situations two choices two choices two options okay because with the lover's card here this also represents a lot of choices in love so let's just see what what is this saying what's going on here six of swords mm. so someone is unable to move forward someone wants to come back okay if this person left to kind of explore their options i'm getting a sense of they want to come back here they're feeling very mentally conflicted yeah the high priestess you're definitely on this person's mind here um pisces energy i feel like there's some secrets too like i said this person's hiding something and you feel it you know it all right that's why this temperance came up in the reverse because although from the outside looking in everything seems great the love is there the the excitement is there this person seems stable there's something hidden that you don't know okay and with the high priestess here it's like you have an inkling in your gut telling you that something's off okay and you need, you really have to follow your intuition I think some things are going to be revealed to you in the right time. Mentally, this person is definitely thinking about this situation. Um, I always get the sense of like a wheel when I see this card. So something is turning in this person's head and this person keeps, you know, replaying this situation over and over and over again. Okay. But I do think with the six of swords in the reverse, this person cannot transition on, um, without you or without this connection okay even though they could have went out somewhere to explore their options pisces this person this taurus is coming back this this person's definitely coming back because they cannot continue to move forward without you know clearing the air with you okay so let's see if we can get some um oracle messages for this connection between taurus oops fix the camera this connection between Taurus and Pisces. Okay. We have loyalty in the reverse. I told y'all, man, this person was not being loyal. It's something, it's just something you don't know. It's definitely something you don't know. And then we have pride here. So this could be something that they're hiding, but they're not telling you because of their pride, because of their ego or whatever. Um, this person also could be very stubborn. 
um, and arrogant, okay? And because of this, this person just could have felt like, you know, they were wanted in a lot of different places. So this person wasn't giving you the loyalty that you deserved here, Pisces. They weren't as dedicated to you um, as you would have wanted them to be. So this could be why they kind of been a bit flighty. They could have disappeared on you. They could have just went out and explored other options. Regardless, I think this person's going to come back around here with the pride card here. I'm getting the sense of strength. So this person is trying to get the strength here to kind of come back and hopefully offer you some loyalty. All right. But I do think they're going to um, let you know about whatever it is that happened that you don't know about because they feel like they have left you in the dark. Okay, so I truly hope these messages helped you. You guys, please let me know if they did in the comments below. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, let's see what's going on between Pisces dealing with Virgos. Okay, Pisces. Oh, what happened here? This card I'm flipped open. All right, there we go. Uh, Pisces dealing with Virgos. Let's see what the messages are for Pisces dealing with Virgos. You see how this card came right back out? I think that's the same card. Pisces dealing with Virgos. What's the messages for Pisces dealing with Virgos? Let's get one more. Pisces dealing with Virgos. If you guys could timestamp this, it's, that would be amazing. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. Pisces and Virgos. What's going on here? All right. So we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. We have princess of pentacles upright and we have the fool in the reverse okay oh pisces somebody has a desire to come towards you or you have the desire to come towards this person but unfortunately there's just a lot of delays here um someone is very afraid to take a chance to take a new start with you okay it's like they're very much so doubting this connection they're feeling afraid of um you know, stepping out on the ledge here with you. Um, and they feel like this connection will have a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of obstacles in its way. Okay. The Princess of Pentacles here though, they do see some sort of, um, future with you. You do inspire this person. They, they dream about you often, think about you often. Okay. But they're not making those moves towards you with the seven of wands in the reverse. It's like, they don't know which way to go. They don't have a lot of direction. They honestly feel like this situation may not be successful. All right. They feel like they may be better off just playing it safe and not making any moves towards you, unfortunately. All right. This Virgo, I think, because this, um, this Princess of Pentacles is their energy. I think they, they feel more comfortable just like daydreaming about you. You know, they don't really want to make any tangible efforts to make this thing a reality. Not at this time. They have too much shit that they're trying to overcome here with the Seven of Wands in reverse. So let's see what's going on with this Virgo. What's going on with this Virgo? Why is this Virgo not moving towards Pisces? We have the Emperor in the reverse. So this person could be a business owner. This person um, could also be very rigid. They could be working on their business too because their business could be failing right now. Or, you know, they have to put a lot of energy and effort towards their business or their job, their work. Okay. This person could also just be very for themselves right now. Like they, they prefer to be in a selfish type of energy right now. They, they could feel like they don't have much to give to this connection. All right. Let's get one more for, um, Pisces dealing with Virgos. Wow. Well, we do have the Ace of Pentacles here. So this person does see a solid new start with you, but I just, ugh, you know, princess and ace of pentacles is like it's beautiful energy but i don't see any movement here it's like this person has to be convinced to walk out on the ledge with you you know like i just don't know if this person is honestly about to take that step i really don't but it is a good deal i mean it is a good thing this ace of pentacles came out it means that this person does see a potential new relationship and beginning with you and you know, that's a beautiful thing. So let's see if we can clarify what's really going on in this connection between you and the Virgo with the untold truths of the Oracle deck. All right. So what's really going on here between Pisces and Virgo? Ooh, slippery. In this connection. 
what's going on between Pisces and Virgo in this connection? Time. Oh, wow. So it's inevitable, Pisces. I think this person is just waiting. They're scared. They're scared and they have something they have to do here with this Emperor card, okay? But this is happening regardless, okay? You may have to wait for some sort of Eichel. Um, Eichel. Lord, I'm tongue-tied, okay? You may have to wait for some sort of cycle to come to an end with this Virgo, okay? This Virgo may have to wrap up some sort of cycle elsewhere, but they definitely see a new start, a new beginning here with you. This is their energy, okay? So they do see that this is fertile ground here with you, and it, I think they're going to come to terms with you actually being worth the weight and worth the risk, okay? This full energy in the reverse, they're afraid to take that leap of faith, but but I think time is going to prove and show if you wait here, it's really going to turn out in your favor. I think there's a tangible new start here with this person, okay? It's just going to come in divine timing. All right? So I truly hope these messages helped you guys. Please let me know if they did in the comments below. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.